Okay, so essentially um, the year four program is got the same content as Metro, but it's delivered differently. Um, it, it is a blend of clinical placements um, and structured learning activities, um, but it's broken into two semesters. So uh, three of the four rotations in year four are, are done uh, in the regional hospital setting and the general practice uh, mixing with uh, other special experiences are in the uh, rural, community, rural practice community rotation. Um, so it's split up into two half years. For, up in, for rural health, um, that means well, we have two regions. Um, that's the northwest of Victoria, which is made up of it's the hospital, is Bendigo and Mildura, and in Gippsland, um, the hospitals are based in Sale, Trout, and Warrigal. Uh, for the community practice or rural practice community rotations, we actually spend time in the GP practices. Um, and in some of those, you also have a bit of a, where the practice has admitting rights to the um, local hospital. You also spend time in the, uh, for example, the uh, Castle Main Hospital if you're in Goldfields. Um, so with the community, uh, GP rotations, we split you up into hubs. Um, so you've got um, Goldfields, Highlands and Murray. That's where the GP practices are in Castlemaine, Maryborough, Kyneton, the Goldfields. Um, in Gippsland, there are this year, which is different to last year, there are five hubs effectively. Um, and those sites are listed there. So um, when you come to preferencing for your um, GP rotation, you've got a wide range of areas to choose from. First step though, is to opt into rural. Um, with on in place, you'll have the choice of opting into rural or um, Peninsula. And Peninsula run a, a year long program as well, but I don't know much about that. Um, but yeah, so you essentially eff effectively opt into rural. Then once you're in rural, um, we have our own preferencing process where you choose location. Um, so you put your preferences in for your regional hospital rotation and also separately uh, your preference for the community practice rotation. Um, then after your exams, just because the way timings work this year, um, the site placements will be, the provisional placements will be announced after the exams. Um, yeah, so once you've got your opt-in option happening, um, then you'll need to submit your uh, special requests or uh, requirements. Um, and they're things like health problems, being a parent or child. Um, in block, yeah, but these things have all been listed in the um, presentation you've seen for Jody Vickers. There's nothing new here. Uh, I've lifted it out of that. What isn't considered special requirements um, is, or are all these things. Um, and one of the questions that often gets asked is, can you do a rural placement without a car? Um, and the short answer is yes. Some sites it's easier than others, but the short answer is yes. Okay, so in terms of site preferencing in year four, ER stu ERC students get to choose either Mildura or Bendigo. Uh, typically, um, if you've been in Mildura for year four, you'll, um, we'll try to get you to Bendigo for, for your hospital rotation in year, in year four. So that's a year three, if you're in Mildura, we'll try to get hospital in Bendigo in year four. It's not a guarantee, but that's what we aim to do. And similarly, if you've been in Bendigo for year three, um, we'll probably allocate you to Mildura to get different experience uh, for your hospital rotation in year four. Um, Non-ERC students get to select from five sites. So that's the whole school, uh, Mildura, Bendigo, um, Warrigal, Trail and Osail. Then when you come to your community practice rotations, the ERC students get preference from the Northwest. So if we go back to that page, you can preference from those three GP hubs, or community practice hubs, Goldfields, Highlands and Murray. Um, non ERC can preference from all of those sites. You only have to put in five. You don't put in nine, I think that is up to, or eight. 
um, your preference five, and then you work it from there. Other information you can give us as part of the second step, which helps us um, allocate you to a site. There's no guarantee because we have fixed number of places and the, just the logistics can be a bit challenging. But if you can tell us this sort of information, then that helps us allocate your site where you've got every opportunity for success. We do allow friendship groups within reason. Um, so if you've got some people you'd like to do your, your rotation with, um, whether it be the hospital one or the GP one, um, it might be difficult to do both. It just depends on how things work, but we do allow uh, groups of two to three students. Um, but that doesn't work if you're trying to do um, six or seven people in the same group. We also need to know about any scholarship, scholarships you might have um, that are affected by placement location. Um, uh, yeah, so that's fine. Anything that you think will help us to um, allocate you to the site that you'd like, please give it to us. Um, this is essentially the process we go through. Um, special requirements or special consideration cases the first. Any repeating students need to be allocated. There's 24 month students who had preferenced for the same site or region in 3B. Um, I'm guessing that you all know about that because you're in year four. Um, we do have to fill the ERC places in the Northwest um, before we can bring non-ERC people into the Northwest. Um, but yeah. After allocations are published provisionally, we do give you an option for a one-to-one -one swap. Um, and then yeah, basically we do the process for that we give you in an email. Um, and while all from information is carefully considered, we can't guarantee that we can allocate your number one or your number two preference. We do our best, but it's sometimes not possible. And sometimes you might end up with a high preference in your hospital, but a lower preference in your GP. So it, it really is a balancing act to try and please everyone. But, but we know that's not possible. Some of you, if you've been in rural this year, will know this, uh, but the accommodation is $105 a week. That includes utilities, furnishings, internet, just not food. Um, and everyone in year four would be in a shared house rather than list a house in Peggy Bay, which is a, a dorm style accommodation. Um, apart from all the information you get from the panelists and other students today, Bearing in mind, we do have other resources. So YouTube videos, um, uh, we have a matrix of um, how the different sites work that we'll send out with this video recording of this Zoom recording. And there is also the Moonless Placement Guide. Um, they're all really good resources to help you with your deliberation. But, um, yeah. Um, if you have any questions uh, after the presentation or after this meeting, um, any of those contact details you can use. And if you think in year four, you'll be thinking probably more onto year five and what the options you've got for careers rurally, um, then um, highly encourage you to go and talk or have a look at the Training Hubs website that's there. Um, and yeah, there's lots of options for you. Pediatrics, psychiatry, um, lots of different uh, options for careers in rural.